went ahead and I go ahead and <clears throat> made this video so we could explain what's going on and show you my solution. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my project here. And I changed it from a little bit from in class to make it look a little bit better <clears throat> and to um, explore generics a little bit better too. Let's see. It's taking some time here to run. Alright, let's look at the first class I built. It's uh, called Molder, and I, I basically made this class so I could separate them for you to look at. You see that I made it an array list, and the array list contains a string, uh, which is one of the requirements I made. I made a separate class for Scully, and that one takes an array list that takes an integers. Um, so that's pretty self-explanatory. In the generic, you can see it takes in a T and a V, and um, I have a method here that we're going to use later to get your merged array list. So let's go to the test file here. As you can see in the test file, I created a Scully object and a Mulder object, and uh, the object uh, contains the uh, array list that we need. And I created a new array list that would be our finished project. <clears throat> I added some integers to Scully, the array list in Scully. And I added some strings to the array list in Mulder. You could see here that I created a myx file object, which is the generic class. And I and if for the two parameters for T and V, I have an array list and another array list. So, uh, using generics, we could pass in anything for T and V, and these are the two things I want to pass in for T and V. <clears throat> Let me show you to you right there. T and V. Okay. Now, this uh, I created uh, <clears throat> the new list, which is up here, which is going to be our uh, list that contains the merge list. I'm going to go ahead and the new list gets uh, my x file dot gather list and the gather list is the method inside the generic that uh, that will take in two lists two array lists and here's the two array lists we have there um, integer one and a string as we could see I created three array lists to use to manipulate the list and here we go. We passed in one list here and one list here of type T and V, which they are. This is of type uh, array list and array list, and this is an array of type array list and of type another array list. And we do. We pass them in. We assign them to two to the uh, array list that I have set up. He knows that I cast them. That even though. Uh, we knew it was going to be array lists. Uh, the compiler doesn't know exactly what you're passing in because they are generic. So you cast them because you know you're going to be only collecting array lists in this uh, generic. Um, I test to see which one of the array lists is bigger. Uh, you notice that I have in the comments here. We could have used the compare to, which was last week, where we learned about compare to, and we could have used a compare to if we already had one. Um, that's where it could have come in handy. But I, I already made a generic one where we could uh, test the size of both lists. And then I used this method down here to merge the list. And you, as you could see, uh, I have little if statements in there that if the using the sizes of the array, it'll automatically stop adding stuff to the new collect to the new list if uh, it doesn't have any more um, elements in it because uh, one list is bigger than the other and so these test cases are in there for both lists so therefore you could have uh, uh, way generics work you should be able to add any array list any size and any type 
So the way this is set up, it'll, ta it'll take in any kind of array list. It could take in two string array lists. It could take in two integer array lists. It could take two uh, integer and a string, which is what we're doing right now, or any other type of array list. Two object array lists, like array list of Scullies or array list of molders. It'll take in anything, and it'll make sure it, it adds it here. Then we return the new combined list. You see that public array list. And you notice that these are all all yellow and that's because they're all generic array lists. They want you to parameterize them um, but you don't have to if you want to keep them generic and which I do. I want to keep them generic. So I went ahead and returned the array list back to here to my new list and then I go ahead and I print the new list out. So let's go ahead and run this. And as you can see here, it every other letter or every other one is zero m one u two l three. And you notice that we ran out of integers at this point, so it, then it just added the remaining uh, other characters from the uh, from the string. So that's exactly what I wanted. Um, I hope this helps, and uh, you could look at the video as many times as you want. I already posted this solution on the WebCT. But uh, I thought this video might be a little bit hel more helpful to explain what's, what's going on in there. Okay. Well, I will see you in class next week. Thank you.